from there, at 1A, we will then, we'll go from 1A to 3E, 3E VO, 3, uh, white VO, then 3E to VO. We're gonna dissolve into camera one on the C position, then we're gonna go to 2E. It could be any newscast from any TV station. Thanks for watching OU Nightly. I'm Spencer Plato. And I'm Megan Thompson. We it's OU Nightly, a show produced and operated by students at OU's Gaylord College of Journalism and Mass Communication. The student-run newscast airs on Cheyenne and Arapaho Television Monday through Friday at 4.30 p.m. We hope that the good work of our students will be of service there. Um, it'll be helpful to, to the audience getting news, and we're just grateful for the partnership. Warming up, and today we actually topped off around 70 degrees across much of the area. Which I've seen opportunity for not only uh, more Native American reporting, and just today we had a story about tribal tags, um, but I also think about an opportunity for more news to go into that community. Because um, whenever you think about OU Nightly, OU Nightly is like, these are future meteorologists, reporters, your sports personalities that are going to be telling you the high school football uh, Friday night light scores. Uh, these kids are going to be on TV or behind the scenes of TV in less than three years. Camera one, zoom out a little bit for me. And they do a great job. I could only dream of a program with facilities like this when I was a journalism student here back in 1980-something. Uh, Venables and the Sooners will take the field for spring practice on March 11th, and the spring game is set for April 20th at 1 p.m. Reporting from Heisman Park in Norman. This experience with CATV hopefully brings a, a bigger scope into learning how to report on indigenous communities, who to reach out to. So it's an amazing opportunity, really.